Hello you viewers, this is the one and only Mr. PC Gamer and today we got new information regarding Pokemon Sun and Moon. Pokemon Sun and Moon is going to be out in three weeks time. That's that's so crazy if you think about it. I can't wait. Uh, this might be the last trailer about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, they might reveal more, who knows. They might not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the three starters, one new Pokemon, one new Alola form, and the Tapu Lion. So let's begin with the Sujai, which is the Aerocore Pokemon, Grass and Ghost type, which has Overgrow. Uh, like I said, um, I will probably have to um, mute the mic a couple times because I am sick. So if you hear me coughing, I apologize for that. So just one minute. So yeah, this is the Sujai, it has a, um, it's got a new move that's only exclusive to the Sujai, which is Spirit Shackle, um, is a ghost type physical move that only the Sujai can learn, an opponent hit with this move will become unable to flee from battle or switch out for an ally, so it's sort of like uh, a scary face where you can't switch out or um, flee the battle. Um, this would be really good for catching Pokemon, like, for example, Wimpod, because I know that has an ability called Wimp Out, where it, uh, flees from the battle, so if you have a Desujai, or, um, you know, you might be able to catch it, like, without running away, but hopefully, like, um, in, like, what, level 36, Desujai will evolve, well, uh, Dartrix will evolve into Desuja at level 36, maybe, so you might be, um, might be hard to catch Wimpod because it's a move, it's a physical type move, so, yeah. I kind of liked this design, uh, I was kind of shocked to see that it was Grass Ghost, not Grass Flying, which is really surprising, but, um, yeah, kind of like it's typing how it's like Grass Ghost. Then we have um, Incineroar, which is my type, my favorite Pokemon. I, I really like this Pokemon. I like all fire starters, especially Charizard. And Typhlosion, Infinape. Just every fire starter is like I really, really, really like. Um, Incineroar is the heal Pokemon. Fire Dark, which to my knowledge, we never had a fire dark starter. We had for the past three generations we always had firefighting. So um being fire dark was pretty good. Everyone was, you know, kind of scared there was gonna be another firefighting type, but seeing fire dark is, is pretty good. Um it has a signature move, Darkest Larat Lariat, I think. Um, is a dark type physical move that only Incineroar can learn. It uh, <laughs> and it allows Incineroar to deal damage while ignoring the effect of any stat that the target might otherwise be affected by. So I'm pretty sure that means uh, if like opponent uses a uh, Growl, the attack will go down, but Darkest uh, Larat will stop it, so the uh, stat will just be to normal. I think that's what it means. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I love this Pokemon. It is really, really good. I, it's it's so amazing. Um, I will be doing a hype video like I did with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, probably next week, maybe. Yeah, sometime next week, maybe Tuesday, hopefully, if I can, um, or Wednesday, or Friday, <laughs> it depends, but yeah, so moving on, uh, Primaria, Primarina, Pr Primarina, yes, there you go, Primarina, um, it's the Solus, so, soloist Pokemon 
Water Fairy, which I love. I don't remember off the top of my head if there was ever a Water Fairy type. Um, I'm just trying to think. I don't think so. What a fairy, I think is the first time I... No! Azumarill and uh, Meryl. Wow. Um... Excuse me, I had to cough there. Uh, sparkling Area is a signature move for... Um... Permarina. Uh... It's a water type special move that only Primarina can learn. And it heals the burns of target it strikes, which is... To me, that's pointless. Like, why would you have... A, a move that can... Like, stop it being burnt? I mean... Maybe... If, um... You wanted, you wanted to catch it, and you said, okay... You know, I'm gonna burn it for a few turns, then use... Um, sparkling area to... Like, lower its, um... HP and then catch it, but I I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, this this Pokemon's pretty cool. I like the design. I really like the design. It looks unique. It looks really unique and, and fascinating. It's it's got like that type of sparkle, you know. <laughs> it's it's so pretty cool. Um, yeah. So now we've got the Tapu line, which is Tapu Bulu. Which is the Land Spirit Pokemon and Grass Fairy with um, Grassy Surge. So pretty much you can have Grassy Terrain up immediately um, when the when uh, Tapu Bulu enters the field. Um, I like this design. It kind of resembles a uh, a bull, but like uh, for the typing Grass Fairy, it would make sense because. Um, don't bulls eat grass or something? I mean, like, they, they're in grassy fields. But, um... Yeah, so Tapu Bulu's ability is Grassy Surge, an ability that no Pokemon has previously had. With Grassy Surge, the field will turn into grassy terrain when Tapu Bulu appears in battle, boosting the power of any grass move used by Pokemon on the ground and restoring a bit of HP them each turn. It also halves the damage taken from the move Earthquake, Magnitude, and Bulldoze. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure Grassy Terrain was in back in Gen 6. I know Electric Terrain and uh, Fairy Terrain was in Gen 6, but I'm pretty sure Grassy Terrain, uh, grassy terrain was there too. Um, moving on to Tapu Lele, which is... I kind of... I like Tapu Lele out of probably the ones that were revealed so far, like Tapu Coco, Electric Fairy, that's pretty cool. Um, but Tapu Lele is probably like my favorite. <laughs> Psychic Fairy. Anyway, sorry about that. I someone was knocking on my door, um, and I just forgot that I forgot I forgot to press stop. So probably have to edit that out. Um, it's a Psychic Fairy type Tapu Lele. And it's got a new ability, Psychic Surge, which has, which is a new move, Psychic, um, Nature's, no, Psychic Surge, that's the ability, <laughs> sorry guys, Psychic Surge is the ability and Psychic Terrain is the move, um, when obviously Tapu Lele appears in battle, um, Psychic Surge, Psychic Terrain happens. Um, boosting the power of any psychic move used by a Pokemon on the ground and preventing them from being hit by priority moves. So, it looks like Sun and Moon is kind of stopping priority moves. We've got Braxish that stops priority move. We've got, uh, is it, uh, Serena? Serena is, uh, has an ability to can stop a priority move. So, a few, um, Abilities and uh, moves that stop priority moves, which is good in a way, because then it makes the meta more interesting and stuff. So if you forget, like Braxis, you have Braxis, and you say, "Oh, I forgot," you know, <laughs> that Braxis had this the ability. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, <coughs> then we've got Tapu 
Tapu Fini, which is Water Fairy, which has got Misty Surge, and it will obviously have Fairy Terrain, um, or Misty Terrain, which is for Fairy moves. but what I don't get is they should make a new um, terrain. They um, pretty much made uh, Psychic Terrain, but they should have made Water Terrain, and um, you know, that will boost the power of water moves and um, stop fire moves from hitting. Like that, for example, and probably healing uh, Pokemon. So, like, have Primordial Sea, but like nerfed, and have Aqua Ring nerfed, pretty much. <laughs> like, for example, uh, that would have been pretty cool, but I guess they had to implement Misty Terrain somewhere, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's Tapu Fini. I, I, I don't know. I kind of like Tapu Fini as well as Tapu Lele, but uh, Tapu Lele grows on me more than Tapu Fini and Tapu Bulu and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> then we have um, the exclusive Z move they get, which is called Guardians of Alola. So what it does it. Um, it can only be learned by the Tapu Cook to, to the Tapu Lion, and it the Tapu closes their shell, which looks amazing. Um, a huge avatar appears from the ground to attack the opposing Pokemon, dealing damage equal to 75% of the target's remaining HP. So it'll do 75 75% and stop 100% of the time, which is amazing. I I like the Z move. The Z move is funny, and just a little side, uh, just a little side news. Um, the Nicky Nicky live stream went on, and um, a player was using Extreme Evo Boost, which is which powers Eevee's um, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed up by two. <laughs> and then they used Baton Pass and gave it to Alolan uh, Executor, which is which was funny. And that pretty, that Executor like swept the whole entire game, which was <laughs> which is funny in my opinion. Um, yeah, I like the Z move. It kind of resembles. I can't remember the name of the that Mega Man thing in Smash Brothers. I think it was. I I honestly can't remember, but it kind of looks like that, in a way. Um, it's funny. Um, then we've got the Alolan Pokemon, Alolan Persian, and everyone's like hating on the design because it's its face. It's saying, oh, you know, this this face is fat. I don't like it. I'm getting used to it, and it makes sense if you um, play it, like if you read the lore behind it. So, the round face of Alolan Persian is a symbol of a rich of the rich Alolan region. So, pretty much, like it's saying that you know how rich the Alolan region is. That Persian has a round face. So, and it's going back to Alolan Meowth, how it's. Um, you know, bred by rich people, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, that, like, that secret, that lore behind it is kind of interesting, um, it's dark type, so, super effective against fighting, which is, eh, I mean, normal dark isn't, I wouldn't like normal dark, dark type would have just been okay, because then it would have been four times super effective to fighting, so, yeah, but, like, like I said, the design looks really, really good. Then we have Cosmog, which is the Nebula Pokemon and Psychic, and it's got the ability Unaware, which if you guys don't know, Unaware, it's, um, makes, it's, uh, makes the opposing Pokemon too nervous to eat berries, so, yeah, I mean, not a, not a good ability, it's kind of useless, but, um, this extremely rare Pokemon is known to only, to only a select few in Alola at one time. It was known by the kings of Alola, their hairs, and it was called the Child of the Stars. The Ether Foundation is researching the unusual Pokemon, and one of the professors at the foundation recently dubbed it Cosmog. Cosmog is very curious and shows no fear of people or Pokemon. If you treat it with any consideration at all, it will take an immediate liking to you. The personality trait of Lee often leads it into danger. Its gaseous body is so lightweight that it's sent flying when the wind blows. When light falls on its Pokemon, Cosmog absorb and it grows. So, this Pokemon 
there's been a few, um, the demo's been dead in mind, and I don't want to go too much, I don't want to spoil it uh, for you guys, but if you don't want to listen, click away, I might have annotations somewhere, but um, we've got this Pokemon, Cosmog, and then another Pokemon, kind of hinting that it might evolve to Solgaleo and Lunala, so it will be weird how how Cosmog and this other like little pre-evolution Pokemon ties into the story, but um, we'll see how it goes. So, if you watch the Japanese trailer, we saw Lily having Cosmog, Cosmog so it kind of hints that Cosmog is in her bag, because you have to save Cosmog from the Spearows, so um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I am hyped for this, the battle tree, where strong opponents await. So this is kind of like the battle maison, but the battle tree. Now if you listen closely guys, and if you've seen the trailer, once I saw this trailer, I was literally, I was hyped, like, straight away. Even, like, as soon as they announced Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, February edition, I was instantly hyped, and now I'm even more hyped. Somewhere in the Alola region, you'll find the Battle Tree, a place where those trainers who have completed their island ch challenge or who are strong enough to have done so. Battle one another. All of the trainers you can encounter at the Battle Tree are strong. It seems you might even encounter two Battle Prodigies from the Kanto region. So we'll be seeing red and blue. Or red and green, depending on where you are. But this is... This is so amazing, guys. Like, like I said before, this is going to be hype. You can encounter previous uh, po people, so like Cynthia, for example, uh, Wally as well um, from the Holland region, Cynthia from the Sinner region, and it might be hinting that Red will have um, Mega Charizard or Mega Blastoise or just just. I make it on his team because you can see a bracelet that he has. Obviously, it's probably not like if anyone sees the bracelet, bracelet you can't say, "Oh, yep, Mega straight away or Z move the straight away." But I'm just guessing that he'll probably have Mega Evolution, similar to Gary. Gary might have Mega Alakazam or something like that. But um, yeah. So at the Battle Tree, you can scout a scout an opponent you've won against, so they can partner with your future battles. You may even be able to scout some familiar faces. So, for example, like the Battle Maison back in Auras, you can um, team up with Maxi and Archie, your rival and Wally, um, for like like just like a multi battle. And you can do this with um, Cynthia and Wally as well. I hopefully they do it with Red. Red and blue, that would be so amazing, being like, having red on your team, oh my god, that'd be cool. Then we've got the Pokemon League, which is interesting, um, I'm pretty sure the, um, the Chinese League said that there will be a Pokemon League, like, you have to kind of, uh, you become the champion and stuff, so, <clears throat> let's, let's take a read. In the regions that have served as the setting of your adventure in the Pokemon series so far, the ultimate stage for battle has always been a place called the Pokemon League. The Pokemon League is where the Elite Four Pokemon trainers with powerful Pokemon partners and the champion who were who regions as the top of all trainers await challenges. A challenger who defeats the Elite Four and champion will be hailed, hailed? as the new champion of the Pokemon League. In the Alola region, the setting of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, there is no Pokemon League yet. But it seems that there are plans to construct one at the peak of a certain mountain after the growth of your achieved through your completing the island challenges. Will the day come when you also take on the Pokemon League to become the strongest Pokemon trainer? We'll find out. So pretty much um I guess what they're trying to say is like Pokemon, um, like, if you complete the island island challenges and, um, you know, just continue progressing through the story, you might eventually 
um, get through the Pokemon League, or maybe there might be DLC, or maybe an update, who knows. But hopefully they don't do that, hopefully that's not the case where there'll be DLC um, and go to the Pokemon League. I'll kind of like that to be in the game, not as a DLC. That wouldn't be... Mm. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but at the same time, it'd just be a bit too weird, I guess. Somehow, I, I just... I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed my news information update. Hopefully we get more news um, regarding Pokemon. This might be the last trailer. Like, because we've, we've got like three weeks left. So, <laughs> who knows? Hopefully, I'd kind of like to see more trailers, but then at the same time, I hopefully don't want to see more trailers. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. So, hope you liked this video. If you did, comment down below the question of the day. And it's, do you like the three stars evolutions? Because I am. I really like it. Um, subscribe. Try and quick attack that like button let's try and get at least at least five likes i know my channel isn't that big let's try and get up to five likes so i'll see you guys next time